The chinstrap colony. Uh, chinstrap are one of the species of penguin breeding here in the in, uh, in Western Peninsula. We are in the Shetland at the moment. The name of the island is Alf Moon Island. And uh, it's a quite big colony of chinstrap. And at the moment, of course, uh, they have chicks. And the chicks are big, but they are not big enough to be left alone. You might see that uh, often you've got the parents next to the two chicks. So in about one week, they will be left alone and then all the chicks will gather together and they, they will do uh, what we call a crash. That means it's kind of kindergarten. They will wait for the parent as a group to be protected from predators. And uh, so they are all grayish, dark gray, covered with down. And they will change this down for a new set of feather in February. And by late February, they will be ready to go at sea. So they still have a at least a month to go before they go at sea for the first time. And for the parents, this is quite a busy time because they have to go at sea to find some food, mostly krill, and back on the colony to feed their chick. So what happens, uh, usually they have two eggs, they have two chicks, but if there is a food shortage, or if the parents are not good enough in providing food, the youngest chick, which is also the smallest, will die. So you might see sometimes very small chicks uh, comparing to a bigger one, those chicks maybe won't survive. We are not sure yet, but they might die in the course of the summer. You can also tell which birds are coming from the sea because they are very clean. This one is dirty. Obviously, it stay in the colony for a while. Now, now it's going to move at sea to find some food to bring back to the chicks. So this is quite a busy day for those chin strap. The summer is getting to an end soon, so they need to be uh, fast in raising their chick and uh, they are very vocals. You may hear the calls of those penguins. They are always calling and uh, the meaning of the calls, of course, depend on the context. Early in the season is mostly for mating. Now it's just a kind of communication between partners mostly. But also, you know, those birds are colonial. They need to be uh, reinsured. They need to be Together, they don't, need, they don't like to be left alone. So calling is a way for them to make sure that they are uh, a single unit and they are all next to each other.